Just like the international break, we also take a break. Welcome back, guys, to Ultras 11 Podcast. I'm still Jose. And I'm still Al. Uh, today, we have a special guest, and I don't like how he's just staring strictly at the camera. It's making me feel uncomfortable. Um, I don't know if he wants us to use his real name. I'm staring at you. Um, Does that make you feel better? Yeah, no, now it's even weirder. Um, I don't know if he wants us to use his real name, so we're just going to call him DBG. The douchebag Guido. And just so you guys know what a Guido is, essentially it's kind of like a it's like a term of endearment, especially like for some people. For Phil, he lives in briefs it. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. like a nickname people have given certain parts of the Italian community outside of Italy. Actually, Justin Vaughn. Probably like Woodbridge, Woodbridge, where we're yeah. from. Yeah. Yeah. Mainly yeah. in Woodbridge. Um, Highway Highway Seven. Yeah. <laughs> uh so I, if, again, clearly that kind of summarizes what this episode's gonna be about. Mm. Uh it's gonna be a thousand percent focused on Italy. <laughs> Uh, we're going to touch upon Serie A. Oh, God, bro. For, <laughs> really? Yeah. Re- but nobody, I, for me, I don't really care about Serie A right now. Okay. Or Premier League or La Liga. Like, those do nothing for me, bro. Like, yeah, so we're going to. So you only care for it, one thing. Bro, Italy just played. Let's talk about that. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to talk about Italy. We're, it was you. the international break. He is, I guess he's right. I'm 100% well, right. Uh, That's was, all that matters right now. I won't argue. I can't <laughs> argue. We're all wearing Italy jerseys, so it makes sense, right? Totally um, fitting. <laughs> Our guest wants to make sure that yeah, yeah. people see what he's wearing. Did you say hi to the camera, or are you just going to talk? What's happening, guys? I hope you guys like my tracksuit. Um, they actually wore it for uh, the game in Jersey. Yeah, that was He got it from Locatelli, yeah. actually. He passed it right to him. After, the, yeah, like he, he warmed up, and he's like... This is yours, so I, <laughs> I, I didn't even go to the game, and I, and I got and it. Got, Fuck. Well, that's, <laughs> that's impressive. Yeah. You have a lot of pull, eh? 100%. 100%. Uh, so, I mean, getting into things here now. Uh, DBG. Yeah. Al, this question's for you as well, but our guest here gets yeah, the honor of the going first. You want to go first? No, no, you're the guest of honor. You're okay. the guest of honor today. So, we always, at least the first question, you answer first. That's a okay. lot of firsts. Here. All right. Um, we saw Italy under Mancini. We saw how it all went belly up. Yeah, okay, we won a Euro sick, but we also didn't qualify for a World Cup. We got railed in Nations League. List goes on, whatever. So we've seen a little bit of Spalletti. Mm-hmm. What are your initial thoughts with Spalletti? Right now, I don't have any, to be honest with you. I really don't. I really, it's. <laughs> What? what? How do I? How? <laughs> how can I have an opinion right now? How? Uh, they they well, played a couple seen, games. You've seen enough games. Though. We quali- We 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 made it for the Euro. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they played a couple games, you know, so far. For you, it's it's still too early for you. It's 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 still too early. You, like you, like here's the thing. I so like. Tony to see a Euro Cup or World Cup or bust. Yeah, and, then, <laughs> and then he'll just. Yeah, but, he's doing pretty good. But am I wrong though? Yes. <laughs> am I wrong? Like uh, the bar. Okay, here's the thing. The Euro bar is set already. Okay. Like Mancini did it, and when I say that, here's the thing with Mancini. He looked phenomenal during the the last Euro mm-hmm. that we won. Then he did Pipa. Uh, yeah, I mean he had he had it, everything locked for the World Cup, and he choked it. Yeah, yeah. So that that's the thing. So it's like. I loved Mancini during the Euro. He didn't show me anything afterwards. Yeah. That was it. It's like, oh, okay, well, forget it. I did what I had so to do. How would you even rank Mancini's time then? Would you say it was good or it was bad? It was decent. It was decent okay. at best. Okay, if you had to give it a ranking, yeah, number, like a numbers one, wise. Yeah. Out of 10? Yeah. Five. 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 Guy Larry says it right down the Right middle in the middle. Five. Eh? Five. Because <laughs> here's the thing, for for me to say 100, percent he would have had to win the World Cup right after the Euro. Yeah, or at least make the World Cup. Or at least make the. That's exactly <laughs> right. I'm being generous, saying four, uh, five. I was gonna say 4.3, 4.2, but no, no way, no way. No, so no. you don't have an, ish, an initial thought with Spalletti. You don't have anything to say about him in any way. Just he's there. He's a guy. He's a dude being. I, a guy I, right I I've seen what he said, uh, like on the uh, on like your guys' Instagram, on other people's Instagram, whatever. I see what he says about the whole PlayStation and this and that, bro. Those are just words. Yeah, you're not wrong. Actually. Mind you, you're not wrong. Sunday was good. Sunday looked good. I'm not gonna lie. Sunday looked good. 
but even though I didn't say it at the time, it was just a friendly, but well, no game's a friendly for everybody. Right? But that's what that's exactly <laughs> right. But what I I don't know, man. He's still it's a blank slate with Spalletti right now for me. I, I don't know what to think. Mm-hmm. I don't have anything on like right now. Okay. So oh. like so far what he's so like oh, sorry, kind of oh. just adding on to Phil. Yeah, go ahead. So like no, like so far, you know what he's showing with this team and these new ideas and not even like just the whole, you know, what he's the message trying to bring with, you know, he doesn't want any of this nonsense. He wants people that are there to play even just, you know, the new things he's trying out, trying to, you know, trying to have this new kind of attacking kind of Italy that it's not just defend, but you also don't forget about the defense, how kind of he was with Napoli. Like none of this right now, it's nothing's kind of edging you or saying like, yeah, you know what? Like I'm, I'm, I'm rating this guy so far. But the thing is, we always hear that. Yeah, yeah. We no. always hear, "Oh, yeah, it's a new style." Oh, Italy. I know. It's it's we've we've, we've, we've by the way, we we've bro, been through it all why, with Conti, right? with uh, Mancini, with what was the other guy that? Oh, he loves youth, and then never brought up youth. Who um, the guy that didn't win uh, Ventura? The guy that didn't make the, the guy that didn't <laughs> make the, the guy that didn't make the World Cup the first time. <laughs> the f- so yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we've <laughs> we've been through it all, and I, I I feel like also I'm I'm kind of almost on the same page as you, like. We, we we can't you know just you know leap forward and be like yeah, yeah this is the guy you know look what he's doing yeah. right now all thing because it can change like this yeah we've seen it happen in the past you know we were spoiled with mancini he won that year he got italy playing some of the best football that we've seen in years and just the confidence that these guys had it was Insane. it was amazing yeah. to watch like, yeah. to experience that like you know what i remember 06 that was a great time being being at, being at look what happened, being but. at the age I'm at now and like getting a being able to like experience it you know older, it was amazing and you know he made that possible. But you saw right after we had all we're like oh buddy we won the Euro but Euro Cup the, for the World Cup we got to win one game against Switzerland, Pfft, no problem. I said that and like, what happened and then we ended up going to going to play uh thing North Macedonia and that we don't we make another even, World we couldn't even we don't make another Macedonia. World Cup. This, you always hear you always have to hear it. I thought it was gonna go at least one week not hearing the <laughs> North North. No, Macedonia. but but I'm saying like like look how quickly it changed with that. So I I honestly I understand with. With kind of how you're you're going about yeah, with Spalletti bro, right now, like... I, I'm really loving like his attitude. I'm liking you know the guys he's bringing and just kind of hey you know what, Immobile is not working and not just saying hey you know what nobody's our striker you know he's done so much for Italy and for the league and everything he's our he's gonna keep playing no 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 you're not working you're not scoring Let, we're gonna try somebody else and let's see what he does give him an opportunity yeah. and you know see what he does and and right now it's looking good and I I really like that but I don't think like I I can really judge him so far based on you know yeah. what he's done like he's done he's he made the euro that was objective number one you know now he's he's trying new things he's looking impressive in these friendlies but the next big challenge for him is to try to defend that title and make a run in the next euro cup that's exactly right. that's yeah. going to be yeah. the biggest thing and we, you know what we, we get to see it this year so you know maybe we kind of have another uh epi- part two of this kind of segment <laughs> after the euro cup really, and you know talk about his time and you know then we can kind of rate him and see where he's at oh yeah then i'll know exactly exactly 100 yeah. percent. actually i'll know after the first game <laughs> now, I'll, I'll tell you the truth <laughs> bro we play not taking anything away from albania because there might be some albanian fans <laughs> listening or watching whatever oh, but, but we'll see hey, hey the, the way italy comes out man it's that, that, that writes the whole tournament yeah. that was like last year bro you remember that one time that italy <laughs> lo- no, uh, two years it, ago italy tied against paraguay remember that day yeah, yeah, that yeah. time yeah that's what i'm saying so I'll know after the first game. I, I so know. It's fine. I know. I know exactly what you mean about that. Because after, who do we play in the Euro the first game? <laughs> Albania. No, no the, the last the, Euro Cup. Turkey. Oh, Turkey. Oh, Turkey. F- yeah, because like, everyone's like, oh, Turkey. You know, they're. Dark I was horse, one of those guys that team. said like they're a dark horse. After what? Best I'm, I'm not even. Whatever. I'm not even lying. I, I, I watched that game in Mare's Garage. We watched it over there. After watching that game, we like we all like we're sitting there like talking, and we like I, I was the first one to say it. I'm like, I can see Italy making a run. Like this yeah. team, they look like the real deal. There's a lot of tough teams. Like France is going to be a big one. Yeah. Uh, Spain's yeah. going to be another tough one. But this team looked like they can do it from that first game. And I got it. Yeah, again, I, I'm not going to be able to rate him after one game, no, but no. I, I know what you mean. Like, oh, no, you know I will. what Italy you're getting after that first game. I will. After yeah. Albania, I'll know for sure. Okay. So speaking of his team, obviously he's called up players at this point multiple times, like whatever. He's had his team selections. What do you guys think about his team selection so far? Has he been making the right decisions with who he's with who he's omitting? Is he making the right decisions with who he's taking on? What do we think? 
like, I'm gonna go like, first I again. Feel like I'm praying over here. Yeah, yeah, the way you're holding this thing, you're like holding it like uh, like you're going to mass. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna say something, and it's I want not, you to say something. I, I, I have to say I'm something. Not, I'm not trying to be funny. Okay. Um, what's his name? Uh, Retegui. Uh, I love him. That guy's an animal. He reminds me of like a, a small truck. To be honest with you, bro, he's stacked, right? For me, he reminds me of like a Vieri, like a in the shadows Vieri. You know what I'm saying? Like he's not there yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Still got some time to grow. Yeah, bro. Like the way he runs with his head down, and like I love that, bro. And he's a beast. To be honest with you. So now here's the thing that you're gonna be like, yeah, whatever, right? <laughs> you could but swear, I'm, you could swear. Yeah, you okay, yeah, but I'm not I'm trying I'm trying to like be composed right now. <laughs> yeah, I get it, I get it. I love, I love the demons. Yeah, I like that. The North Macedonian demons. <laughs> but hey, the last time we beat them five two, I think. I think it was. I'm just saying. <laughs> under who was it under? Who was it under that Italy beat North Macedonia the last time? So that's it. See, <laughs> see, that's already one point. Right? One more one point, point. Yeah. than Mancini. Yeah, you're not that's wrong exactly there. Right, right. So, um, anyways, but not to be funny or anything. Why not? Here we go. But it's true. Why not, Colin Senior? Why not? Hey, hey. I'm going to say one thing. I thought that was going somewhere else. So did I. I thought he was going to say Balo because I know the, the heart flutters for Balo still to this day for you. Insigne is probably the most absurd claim, though. Why would you need him when they have other players that are better than him in that role in a competitive league? A hundred percent. I agree with you there. Yeah, fine. Balo is he's on acid that guy. so he's, he's not he's not even gonna argue the insane thing right now yeah you know what no, 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 i agree I, with that actually like what no no <laughs> because you point. first talked about balo so let's first talk about okay, balo. okay 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 yeah, yeah so balo like i said he he's on acid he's yeah. he's a he's long tri- gone buddy. he's a power ranger yeah. that guy he's incredible yeah but the thing uh, is bro long gone god forbid god forbid oh i can't say anything about head because when i play I, i'm a nutcase yeah you know what i mean <laughs> It's good, but it's bad. Um, I don't think Spalletti can can handle somebody like Balo. I don't think so. Um, I think he can. I just think like just Balo would ruin it himself and just go and do something stupid. But ex- exactly, that's the like, thing, right? So it's like, yeah, no, Balo, no, Balo. As much as I would love to say, yeah, I can, because okay. bro, what happens if it's an important game? He's already on a yellow. Another yellow in 15 seconds. That's the way he is. We've seen it happen before. I was going to say, Mourinho still talks about (laughs) till his day. But do you see? Yeah. But the thing is with... So now, the reason why I said Insigne, okay? Insigne, for me, he's like... uh, In the atmosphere of like... uh, Del Piero-esque kind of presence in the sense... Not presence, yeah, presence, but in the sense where he's like a 75th minute man. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know how that makes, like... Okay, yeah. I mean, first, don't compare him to Del Piero. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, but... That's your first mistake. Yeah, but... Uh, but I, I get what you mean, in, and I'll kind of agree to that. I'm not going to say, you know, Insigne, because, you know, they're, with, with the amount okay, of time out, the wait, Itali- wait. these Italians right no, no, now. No, 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 no. He just gave me a look. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to say this now. He's nowhere near Del Piero. No, no. That's all. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. I agree with as long as he's he, with TFC right now, he stays healthy. Yeah. And he's playing every game and he, you know, he's playing well. I would bring him, but have him as depth i wouldn't be bringing him to be starting him every no, game. no 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 like no some games he might not play some games like you said 75th minute he comes on and he'll Let's get you he'll happens. get you a goal yeah I, I i i can see that i don't see him ever like being in the starting 11 again unless no no no, 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 no miracle no. happens no. so you're gonna waste a spot on a guy that is there for 15 20 minutes a game absolutely no. well you're all but you're obviously gonna take depth anyways and, I, and at that point as a coach you'd rather have if you're gonna be like okay it's between insignia and I don't know, but whatever. Somebody that you know, it's, it's they're younger, and you know, they're not, they don't, they might not have as much experience. Then I'll take Insignia for the depth. Yeah, yeah, I would. It depends who's available. Who whoever's going to be available. If it's between like, like Insignia and like Elsha. Elsha, like, El, yeah, he's doing well, but like, dude, the guy's so inconsistent, man. Better league though. 
doesn't matter to me. But it's it's a barely playing in a better league. Come on, man! You, you mean, can't say that Serie A compared to the no, MLS. No, 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 no. no. Like, I, I meant like barely playing, like barely getting minutes. Oh, in a better he's league. He's been starting under. The not list. like not how like not the league's not. Good. No, You're my my thing is like number one in the world. I'm not going to look at you and say Insigne's bad or anything like that. My thing with the Insigne is just like. It's like Verati. Obviously, the skill is still there. Obviously, mm. there's still the ability, the hunger, if you want to say, like whatever it is. Sure, I agree. It's just the level of that he's now becoming accustomed to playing. Mm. You know what I mean? He's seen as a great player, but the level in America compared to the level in anywhere in Europe, yeah, way less, yeah, right? Okay. So now you're going to get this guy. Yeah, he's doing decent or he's doing well or whatever the case is here in America, but he's not going to do anything on a global scale like that, you know? Yeah. And that that's my thing. I'm not trying to downplay MLS or anything like that, but it's like, I would rather take an average guy in Serie A or La Liga or Bundesliga than Insigne, who's killing it in for TFC. Like who? Uh, Ricardo Orsolini. He's a right winger. Right. Okay. You want to go left wingers then through and through. Okay. Well, if- your starters going to be Chiesa. Yeah. Yeah. Zero doubt about that. Yeah. Um, again, okay, El Shadawi. I'd rather him because when he he's uh he's a sub player anyways for Roma, whatever you could get him in, he could do his thing quickly, like in general. I can't think off the top of my head right now because yeah, you guys have put exactly. me on the spot, but I'm just saying see, there see, are players a hundred percent that okay, Zakani. I told you, I told you, I told you. Zakani, right there, left winger. I don't rate I him would, at all, but I would I would, I would, take, I would take him sure. over I would take Insigne over Zakani. No, I would not be taking Insigne over those guys. I'm sorry. Uh, it's I, just, I, hey, I'm sorry. I would. No, that's fine. Let me guess. You would take Montalivo. Take him out of fu- uh, fucking retirement, please. I would see if Camerunesi could still play. See, I'm getting nervous now. Hey, I'm getting nervous. I don't want to walk off like last time. Yeah, look, look. look. See, that was God. That's um, did that, eh? You know what? We're just going to change over yeah, yeah, now here. Change. Since we were talking about start depth, though, corner. since we're going to be like we were talking about depth, yeah. why don't we actually talk about a starting 11? Okay. So we've seen Spalletti now tinker with the formation. He played 4 3 3, 4 3 1 2. Now we've seen these last two friendlies. He played 3 4 2 1, like a weird three man backline, whatever. Mm-hmm. So my question is do you think Spalletti knows what his starting 11 is? Like, or at least like his best 11? Or do you think he's also still trying to figure that out? I think he, out of the 11, I think maybe he knows about eight and eight or nine of them, nine of them that are like confirmed. And then I think there's a couple spots where he's still kind of testing out what works better. Yeah. That's what I, I, see, I, yeah, yeah. I genuinely think. I'm, I'm trying to look at it and I feel your goalie, your lock, your back. It's pretty much a lock. Yeah. We give or take there, one or two guys. It, maybe you're not, you're not really changing your midfield. Pretty much a lock right now. Well, one there guy, might be, I would say there might be the one guy that you're going to kind of see who, who's maybe in the best form and end up putting him there. Mm-hmm. And then up top, you have Chiesa, striker. That's going to be the one up in the air, I think, that they're still going to figure out. And then the right wing, I feel like with the form he's coming off, I feel like Orsolini is going to get a starting well, it's, spot. It's difficult. I don't think, I don't think Berardi is going to hold that spot. Well, if you have the, but that's the thing. If, if you're going with the 4 3 3, okay, fine. Yes, you that, have those that, wingers. That, that's then. what they're going to go with. But I'm saying, like, you did see him experiment with this 3 4 2 1. So, like, I, I don't know. That even, was dangerous, uh, that one there, bro. That I'm going to be honest. I don't think he I, has even, I think he has even less players that are a lock. I'm going to be honest. I think he has three guys, no. and that's all he knows that, okay, these guys are going to play. No, I and think it's Donnarumma, Barella, yeah. and uh, what's and DeMarco on left back. I think those are the only and three. And is not a lock. I don't think so. He has a lock. I think he, I Locatelli's, think he be, Locatelli's a lock. No, I don't think Bastoni's so. going to be a lock. I don't know. On the right side, Di Lorenzo's a lock. Yeah, but with the emergence of Bellanova, who we saw against Ecuador, yeah, okay, he was a like, menace, man. He couldn't stop him. For Cambiaso, but these guys here, they're younger. They're, they might even go with – they're going to go with a Di Lorenzo, or I can even see them going with a Darmian before those guys. Those guys still have time. They're young. You need I, the experience. You need the guys that have been there and been in these moments. I really want to see uh, Letegi get that. Get that. See, I think oh, he actually fuck. might be more of a lock in attack Jesus. than no, I don't think somebody like Chiesa, man. Him, it's going to be, I think, a little bit tougher for him. Oh, Especially course, because yeah. half the Italians don't even know how to pronounce his name. It's just I can. I can for the lock. <laughs> yeah, I, say, I don't know if it's a Retegui or Retegui. <laughs> retegui. Yeah, because like, he is Argentinian. There yeah. is that half in him, so it's like, are we mispronouncing? Hey, the <laughs> last time, the last time we had an Argentinian on the national team, 
I don't want to say what happened, but <laughs> let's remember. Last time we had a uh, Brazilian starting in our midfield, we won a Euro too. Last time there was construction on Market Lane. I don't. We won the Euro. <laughs> I don't know where that's going. <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait, the construction's done, dude. Yeah, I was gonna say, but that's what done. I'm saying. They managed to finish it just before the Euro. Uh, we ended up doing it. So they fixed it up for the Euro for us to win. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It might be on something. Probably, probably not. I see it. If I wishes see were it. fishes, we'd be living I in ocean. It, but here we are. Um, <laughs> no, but I think. I think it's pretty much set. I don't think so. Personally. But regardless, I think he's fifty percent set. 50%. Yeah, I could agree like with that. Like I don't think it's as I don't think he's as yeah. certain as we all think. He speaks like he's certain all oh, like yeah, all no Pellegrini, kidding. we're doing this around him. All Bacchiesa, we're doing this around him. And this guy we're doing this like I don't know. I think that's all just rubbish. And they feel certain extent. Starting that first game, it's going to be Locatelli, Barella and Pellegrini. Wait, say and Loca, Locatelli, Locatelli Barella, and Barella Pellegrini. and Pellegrini in the midfield. Yeah, that's better. going to be the starting lineup at the first game. Mark my words. The back and you're saying be, four three three, four three three, because like that, that that three four two one. I guarantee he's trying that out. He's going to keep using that because that's going to be the formation that either mid game, if the players like the right players are on, they they're going to be able to switch into in transition. Yeah, or yeah. if they have to. Make it make that sub and then go to that formation and be more defensive. Well, and if you look at even when he played the three man back line, every right sided center back mm-hmm. was an actual right back. Like he had Di Lorenzo play center back, mm-hmm. he had Darmian play center back. So it's one of I think it's one of those tactically flexible formations kind of he's experimenting between. just for something. A lot got by though on Sunday. A lot got by that shouldn't have gotten but, by. Hey, but that's you know that that's one simple thing. That's one simple fix. Two names: Chiellini and Bonucci. And no, then. stop, stop. I no, no. I'm not about to have this right now on the on the podcast. That, but, okay. but but Joe, you you saw he's being serious. Best, eh? I'm being 100. percent I know he's being serious. Thing. I'm be, the I, best like the best years of their life that Euro Cup, and you saw how many games they won us. Having it, I'm not, I'm not saying them exactly, but you know what I mean. Having guys like that with yeah. the experience and just that just that intelligence. No. That's what Italy's missing. I agree. I agree. And I, what I think they're missing, okay, this is the thing. With the formation they ran over these two friendlies, the, I think their defense got exposed for that lack of experience. With Mancini yeah. and Bastoni not, like, ever playing together, like, because whatever. You know, like, I think it got exposed in that regard. But I will look at you and say, I think that actually falls on the lack of athleticism they had in the midfield. I'm sorry, but is a fucking workhorse. He's up mm. and down. But when your only other center mid then is Jorginho, we all know how fucking slow he is. I'm not saying he's a bad player in any way, shape, or yeah, form. But, but you're not going to have a guy like Jorginho in a two-man center midfield thing that he has to be box-to-box on. Yeah. You know, like, I think that's where the problems actually stemmed from. And then they were getting overrun. And then Mancini and Bastoni and was Darmian just looked like fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was but, that, that one guy on, on, uh, on the right. Bellanova? No, from Ecuador. Oh, Make, bro, the guy was beating him from from Jaden Major <laughs> Mac. I'm like, holy, no, for real. Did you see the almost runs? I'm like, but that's what I mean. Because, dude, look how slow you have. Literally one center mid that was able to run everywhere, and then the other one was like, "All right, yeah. I'll just play a set <laughs> yeah, class exactly. for you guys. I'll be here, guys. Yeah, like if you need me. Like just if you have to me, and I'll bring it up. If you have Jorginho, you need a third center mid in there to work yeah. more. Yeah. It's not. It's like getting Pirlo to fucking. Okay, obviously they're not the same level. Pirlo's mm. way better than Jorginho, but, but it's like running. telling yeah. Pirlo, "Hey, you got to move box to box." Pirlo didn't need to run. Yeah. Put the ball wherever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so DBG, Phil, yeah. <laughs> Al, putting you guys as the coach for a minute. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're going into this Euro. You have a full 28 man squad to choose. Mm-hmm. Nobody's injured. Everybody's informed. Just for argument's sake. Are there certain players that you feel are like a like a lock in that starting eleven? As you guys synchronize a water drink, take a little water break while you're talking. Joe. Yeah, you a little bit, a little, think a little bit of parts, things. man. I have to think about the best uh, best starting eleven that I can. Yeah, put like, together. like give me I'm what the coach do. Give, give me out of your like you could give me like your your locks formation if you want, or you could just give me a couple of players that are locks and tell me why they're locks. Okay, you want to go? No, you can. You can. You want, me, I, you want me to say like my whole starting 11? or just that, That's up to, that's starting up to you. If you want to do a starting 11, by all means. But I'm saying like the players, players that, are, that locks. are locks. Like no okay, matter okay. what the case is, you build around them type shit. Okay. 
So like I said lock. earlier, I think four three four three three is a lock. And that other formation, they're gonna he's gonna kind of switch into, you know, in the middle of a game and just kind of based on how the game's going. So four three three, I think Donnarumma's a lock. I mean, you you know, you yeah, he's gotta work on his feet, but you know, you saw it on Sunday, like that game there. He's a lot better than um what's his name? Vicario. Mm-hmm. A lot better. Yeah. And and you know, people will try to argue that you know, no, he has to play. No, Donnarumma is the number one goalie, and that's it. 100%. That's it has to be. Uh left back DeMarco probably one of the best left backs right now in the world kills me to say it but i mean it is what it is he's gotten a lot better defensively on the attack he, like the balls he puts in he he like he's incredible he's like Joao Cancelo but he knows how to actually defend uh like the two center backs you know for me i think it's it's a lock but it could also be up in the air i think bastoni 100% he's in there he's going to be playing the other spot I can see them going with like an Acherbi, which I don't want, but I'd, you know, I preferably would rather see someone maybe like a Gatti or someone like a Mancini, someone like that, you know, that type of like that Chiellini that is going to kill you. And then Bastoni is all the finesse. And then on the right, like I said, Di Lorenzo, the captain of the team, I think he's, he holds that spot and he's going to be starting there. Him and him and uh, Spalletti have a good thing going. You think Di Lorenzo takes the captaincy from Donnarumma? Because Donnarumma has been the captain even I when think, Di Lorenzo. Plays. I think Di Lorenzo will be the captain. Okay, I okay. generally do. Um, I just remember when I was saying captain, I meant like for Napoli with like being yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah. being like like a captain. Mm-hmm. I think like so yeah, but yeah, I do think he's gonna take the captaincy from in Italy. Um, midfield, like I said, gonna be a lock first game. Locatelli, Barella, and uh, Pellegrini. Italy have it's probably like the one time we can all agree that Italy actually have an abundance of midfielders. Yeah, we no. haven't seen in a very long time, so it's a good problem to have. But I think these three guys, especially Pellegrini, now once Mourinho left and just how good he's been playing, if he keeps that up till the till the Euro, I think he's there. He's a lock. He's got to be in the team. Same 10. with the other two guys, and then up top, uh, Chiesa, Retegui, Retegui, Retegui. <laughs> Uh, and then on the right, or or I would say Orso Orsolini. Like I, 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 again, like out of that thing, I think maybe there's like two or three guys. Okay, that but are wait, like why? Question marks or why Orsolini? That is my question mark because I feel like you could put Rasmadori there and play as like a second striker winger. He's done it. There's Zaniolo, who I still will always look at you and say there's untapped potential so there, and me, that man is a fucking bear. Are those the only two guys that you're gonna say? Berardi. No, okay, I was gonna okay. say Berardi okay. because as much as he pissed me off that one time. Mm-hmm. He is still a very consistent player. Yeah. You know what you're getting, and you know his ability. Yeah, yeah. And it's that experience. And there's probably another guy. Okay, but, let's, let's go think, but yeah, let's these, go through. Three, yeah. Let me answer your question on these. Okay, so first one to start off was Raspadori. Raspadori, you've seen him play there a couple of games with Italy, with Napoli. Raspadori is 10 times more of a threat and so much better either playing on the left and cutting in mm-hmm. or playing as like a center forward. Yeah, like behind the On the right, you're, you're not getting the best out of him. You're wasting him by just putting it. You're just putting him there just to include him in the starting lineup. Okay. It's a waste over there. Uh, who's the next one you said? Zaniolo. Zaniolo. I agree. You know, I, I agree with you that he, he still has this potential that he has to find and he has to get through. But but the, the guy there, man, like he he just looks like he's – He's too cocky, and he just needs to kind of be brought back to earth a little bit because for what his numbers are this season, he has no right to be cocky. He should be shutting up, head down, and just focus and try to get better because, you know what, yeah, you got your two injuries. A lot of people doubted you. You're overcoming them. You're doing well, but you're not doing good enough for what you're supposed to be, and this wonder kid and all this stuff. So I don't think he's there yet. I wouldn't give him the chance because – He's not a guy you can rely on. Not a guy that you can, he can change the game because he hasn't proven it. This but definitely a call up at least. It, it de- depends. Depends how everyone else in, in that position is doing at that time. Like and then Berardi, I'd bring him for the experience, but he's shown. Yeah, he's done well. He's grown as a player, but he's shown too many times when it comes down to it, he does not show up. He chokes. He it happened against. Uh, sorry, North Macedonia. It <laughs> happened in the Euro Cup. He played good, what, two games? And then he lost his spot. He, like, he just, he couldn't handle the pressure. And you saw this young kid, Chiesa, coming out. No one thought anything. And this guy just, hey, guys, hold on. Don't worry, guys. Hold my back. I got you guys. And just took the thing. Something that a guy like Berardi, with the years that he has on his belt, should be doing. But he's 
fuck, I don't want to mess up because everyone's going to make fun of me and they're going to, yeah. I'm going to be, I'm going to be hated. Hey dude, you got to mess up a couple times, but you'll, you'll, yeah. you'll get there. Like you just got to fucking not be scared. So for me, I think he's had his chances. He's too much. And Orsolini, the year that he's had, the growth that he's had and just how good he's like developed at, as that winger, I, I had given the opportunity, you know, like kind of like what Brody, like, you know, last year cup, give him those first two games, see how he does. And this guy here, if he starts fucking playing and he, cause he starts taking the game, he starts taking on defenders that a lot of people Brody doesn't do very often. Yeah, yeah. He starts doing that, but keep, keep, keep playing, keep going. I wouldn't fucking stop. Brody, you're not he's, wrong. He's a little, you're not wrong. A little pussy, man. He fucking. You're not wrong. Yeah, I, I lost. Uh, I didn't lose respect for him. Like I, I still like him as a player, but you know, you I, lost I, respect I, for him when he decided to not join you. No, no, six you, that, that was that was the joke, man. He, that was we just accepted he was never coming. We ended up getting Zaza and whoever else before him when he was supposed to come. And he's on a roll today, bro. First North Macedonia, now fucking Zaza. <laughs> And now, uh, he's in Phil's head right now. He's like, now, slow, uh, that's, Phil, slow, that's slow run up, <laughs> Phil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, for, so you now, it's all you. I'm only gonna say four. You, I was gonna say, say whatever you want, but you have to tell yeah, us why. Through, you don't have to go through the whole and thing and be prepared for me to question you. There is no question, no, no, yeah, but I will it. still question you. I'll question you. I'll always too. question you. Question okay. Alba or Selene. Okay, all right, okay. So, watch this four, four, okay. Donnarumma, cool. that's unquestionable. I don't know, yeah, I think that, that we can all shake yeah, on. That's generational. Okay. That's yeah, Buffon's air. Lock, not Buffon. The only one that would disagree is Pear. Yeah, because he left me like, for free. <laughs> no, dude, I would take Manyan over, over Donnarumma. <laughs> so, but Pear, he's not Italian. No, no, I'd still take Manyan over Donnarumma. <laughs> Pear would take Van der Sar over yeah. Donnarumma. No, Pear already actually made a statement that he would take Stefano Sturaro on it, and we said he's not even a goalie. But whatever. Anyways, Donnarumma. <sighs> Pear's heart's in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jen. Dude, I love you, Pear, but don't worry. <laughs> A lock is Donnarumma. Okay, that's number okay. one. Chiesa, lock. Lock. Okay, that's ready too. Okay, that's ready too. Barella, 100%. Okay. He's going to be like, what? Actually, I'm can, waiting can for I, the controversial can one. Can I go here. five? Can I go yeah, five? Obviously, you do you whatever, can say whatever you want. You can set a whole 11. Okay, man. No, 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 no. I don't want to do 11 because okay, at relax. the end of the day, I'm not the coach. That's Spalletti's no, no, job. But the whole, this is pretend you're the coach. Yeah, no, no, I no, literally no. said, <laughs> let's put you as coach for a minute. I don't want that kind of pressure. All right. So I'm you want to be like coach. Buffon? I'm I'm Buffon. You want to be like Buffon, the vibes I'm, coach. I'm the locker room guy. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you come to me for that motivation quotation. You need to say okay? that's it. It's like motivation bro, quotation. <laughs> exactly. All right. Okay? So you have. So what? who did I say? Another. <laughs> Barala. This guy mentions Buffon and I lose my mind. You said Chiesa, Barala. What about Zaza? Uh, Donnarumma. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm gonna go five though. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go five. Oh. The Marco. Okay. Hundred percent, bro. That guy there. <laughs> I even seen I even seen it on the screen. When I looked at him, I go, "Jesus fucking, you're a gazelle." I love the way he plays. I love it. <laughs> you, you know, he's like a Zambrotta. No, chill, chill, chill. No, the only no. closest thing to Zambrotta was Euro Spinazzola. Okay. Euro Spinazzola. Oh, the <laughs> three games that the guy played before he yeah, broke his fucking. Gone. Hey, okay. Spinazzola won a Euro. Yeah. Goal line save against Lacaca. Yeah. And then poor thing blows his Achilles. Anyways, I'll okay. continue. So DeMarco, DeMarco yeah, it, yeah. DeMarco, hundred percent. I agree, though. I do agree. Bro. Okay. <laughs> Retegui. You think hundred percent lock? You think he's a lock? And like, but wait, wait. When you say lock, now are you saying he should a hundred percent also be starting? Like that's a lock, or just a lock to be called up? No, no, he's saying start. We're talking about starting right now. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm oh, talking dude, about starting. Yeah. I just want to make sure we're on the same no, page. Here. Honestly, bro. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. You know what? He looked, bro. He looked phenomenal. That's, that's the that's a lock. You're good. Or Cellini, guys, having a fucking okay, season listen, and a half. This is my thing. This is my thing with Retegui. With Bologna, there's something about Retegui that yeah. I feel like a lot of people aren't seeing. Like his finish against Venezuela, Beautiful back finish. back to goal, took one touch, didn't even see to the goal, didn't even see. Why didn't he see? He just goal? turned, swung his foot, and it went top corner. See? And to me, that's a natural striker instinct. Yeah, that's something I, I haven't seen from an Italian striker 
since he's not Italian. That's why Balmer. He's not Italian. You're right. You get me on a technical tech. But yeah, since like the likes of a Luca Tony, who's fucking throwing a guy off and he's falling Gross. on the floor, but he scrapes the ball in. A uh, Vietti, like I, I haven't agree, seen it since that. I don't. I don't know if he. I don't know if he's a lock yet. I would, bro. I would. I don't, it's, I don't but that's know, the thing man. too. It's a question mark because you look at them even, like those games. Yeah, his, his saving whatever. grace is the fact that like there's a very, very, very short list of strikers. Is it? But in saying that too, look at him when he's played for Italy. He has seven goals in four games. Yeah. Right? No. 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 Dude, he's he's doing well. That's kind of impressive for a guy 100%. that you know. And you look at him uh, for Genoa. Those he doesn't have those coming. He is. Decent enough numbers for Bomber. Genoa, yeah. but like he's not at that standard that you're like, oh yeah, you're fucking, on the, you're the number nine for a yeah. top country. Hey, so, hey, I, I'm gonna debate. say this now. Speaking of that, you're the number nine. Uh, you're not the number nine for that country. Not yet. Not yet, bro. He's he looks good doing yeah, he, it. Though. It's still very early. He does look good, yeah. but. For me, my only thing, because we've seen it with so many players, you know, in the league, they're they're, they're playing amazing. They're doing really good leading yeah. up to the tournament. They're doing really good. And then the big stage comes and they just they they can't they can't hack it. They can't. But do that's it. even like immobile sometimes. Though, but that's what I mean. Right? But you saw like, OK, like he wasn't it's not like he was scoring with Italy, even in qualifying and friendlies like he was with Lazio. He still was scoring. But you saw in the big tournament, B-bun. he was nowhere to be yeah. found. Yeah. yeah. He fell out that one time. The one, he's the guy that, you know, we were allowing to score and to win the game. And we were relying on our wingers and midfielders to score. For me, and you guys were talking about Immobile doing absolutely nothing. And I agree. I agree with you guys. But my thing is, when I look at Italy's number nine situation, what it's a a lot of it right now is young kids Mm -hmm. still trying to figure themselves out like a guy like Skamaka. Skamaka is not young, but, you know, he's still only 24 you know, then there's Lorenzo Luca, who's doing pretty decent with Udinese. He's like 6'8", just an absurd <laughs> physical quality, like whatever on the kid. But then there's Raspadori. What about the cock? The cock is just there for vibes. He's not getting a call-up. <laughs> who's not, this? I love the cock. Belotti. I love Belotti. I love Belotti, so I, I won't bash him in any way. I think he should have been starting over Immobile. Yeah. Because he at least works his fucking ass yeah. off. Yeah. That, you know, 100%. so like, I won't down, like, down talk him or like whatever, but I don't know. My thing with Ortegui is I would be calling up. I'd have Raspadori starting in that nine role just because, you know, like with the, with the wingers we have and their potency in scoring with Chiesa, if we go with Orsolini, Berardi, mm-hmm. or like whatever it is, Raspadori is great at setting up play, yeah. doing stuff like that, whatever. Obviously, and that's the thing. If Raspadori by the 45th minute can't get anything going because he's getting bullied because he's a smaller guy, mm. then you then bring you in the guy. physicality of Rategui that will push Raspadori and fight back. reminds me of Di Natale. He is Di Natale to a team. I don't know he what does. the fuck Small, it is, Small, cute, bro. little smiley. I Every love Every time I, I see Raspadori. Raspadori, I always remember this on, on, on Spain. <laughs> I, I'm either there. gonna get his jersey or Pellegrini if he's number 10. Pellegrini's number 10. See you later. I'm done. I'm probably, retired. He probably will be. Yeah, probably will be. Who's number ten before uh, the Euro? So it's, uh, the Euro. <laughs> um, Insigne. Oh, Insigne that's was right. number ten. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I could see it. I can see Raspa getting it. But that's what I mean. Like Raspa, Dori, Pellegrini, are my like. Wait, why, why are we talking about tens now? Or are you saying starting as a striker? Oh, see, see, now, no, now we're, we're good. Now we're gonna go into that kind of. And we get no, Raspa, Dori is Di Natale <laughs> slash Mikuli. Should talk, quick, talk about the numbers. When do they release those numbers? <laughs> So I want to order my kid's that, jersey, no, but like I, I don't know. I, I'm scared he's going to change his I'm number. I'm literally saying that. I already too, got like, my I, jersey. The same. I already that's a tracksuit. No, no, no. But oh. I, I have mine at home. <laughs> yeah, no. See, I want, see. I want. I'm ordering like the official one with like, the Euro Cup thing, but I I don't want to pay for like a, that's, that's for a, a for the jersey and jersey. get a number fourteen, and he goes to number seven. Yeah, yeah. That's no, I, that's like jersey. me with like I want to get Pellegrini or Cristante, obviously my, my Roman contingency. <laughs> um, if I'm allowed to say my locks. I obviously, only obviously. Okay, yeah. I think I'm on the same page where I say like five or six. I don't know about a starting eleven. Maybe uh-huh. I could. Uh, who again, do you, who do you got? Agreeing with this whole thing, Donnarumma. Yeah, I generational guess, talent. I don't give a. Fuck we can all agree on that one. And it's crazy because like I will not say Vicario is bad. Vicario is a solid fucking no, goal. But man, you. you but Donnarumma you is the literally Donnarumma generational, and he is your goalie for the next ten to twenty years. Yeah, he okay, maybe not twenty because then he would be forty five. But still, Buffon did hey, it. I'll say Buffon did but, it. But you know what I mean? Like, like if he's already playing, he's literally deemed one of the best goalies in the world. One of, I didn't say the best. I said no, no. one of. Right now, man, um, 
Oh, right now, currently playing? Yeah, okay, yeah. 100%. Yeah. I will. No, 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 time, dude. No, no, no. no. You have a long way to go, buddy. Yeah. The guy in the picture from over there, that's number one. Of Buffon's time. the best to ever do, play the game. I'm just going to um, say that now. <laughs> get, don't that out, even, get that out of the way. <laughs> don't even start. Just in case, if you guys were wondering... That's what it, that's what it's. Oh no! After he, after he's done, there's a there's an issue. I'm I'm remembering about something. We'll get to on. that issue. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, okay, so Donnarumma, uh, I'm gonna say Demarco. Relax, relax. Yeah, sorry, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Fuck the Wusa cat. Um, <laughs> Demarco, because it's Demarco. Yeah. Again, I think those are both crazy. That we, thunder we, we all puns. agree on there. This is where a controversial pick's gonna come into play, and I already know I'm gonna get the the evil eye. I'm saying Mancini is a lock on defense. No. And I will explain why. Because, first off, look at his statistics for when he plays for Italy. He has seven starts, seven clean sheets. Okay? First off, let's, let's, let's just throw that out there. That man sacrificed him. And you look at every great duo Italy has ever had or when they accomplish something or anything like that. You have the pretty boy finesse. Let me ping a ball 100 yards and uh, I'll get all the credit. Bastoni. You know, he's that guy. That's the Bonucci. Yeah. That's the... I was going to say Cannavaro, but Cannavaro was a, a hybrid of a lot of things. He was just different gravy. But beside all these guys was that butcher, no-nonsense, baller man. Chiellini, Materazzi. Yeah. You know, like, there's always that yeah. in them. You know, like, you need that. You need the good with the bad, the ugly with the beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mancini's that guy that, you know, he's in your face. He's getting under your skin. He's slapping you in the mouth. And I think that's what like Italy that. right now is missing. And... Bastoni and him beside each other, I think will be a great duo. And you get a couple tournaments out of them. So I'm going to say Mancini over Bastoni in that regard because there's nobody similar to Mancini's brute force. Over Bastoni? Over Bastoni. Okay. I know controversial. Bastoni Stupid, could not be generational. But... Whatever. Uh, then the midfield, my two locks for the midfield are going to be Pellegrini mm -hmm. and Fratesi. Obviously, okay. Obviously, there's Barella too, but I don't want to keep saying the same guys you guys are saying. But why? If it's the but truth, if it's a lot. If it's a lot, yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think outside uh, of the guys we selected here that I should like. I'm thinking whatever. And Fratesi, I think, has proven himself. What has he proven, Joey? Sitting on the bench for Inter every week. Yeah, because they also bench Jeez. everybody for fucking Mikatari who was 47. Okay, but Joe, but, but no, but that's but that's what I mean. About, He's gonna leave if we keep talking about Serie A. He said. <laughs> but I'm saying about uh, to argue your with Fratesi. What has he done that, that he's should be starting in that in that team? I think if I think it's because he's a grass eater and you need that given the style of play Spalletti plays and everything like that. I think he's that perfect guy that makes those perfect late runs. He has a shot on him. He has great positional sense. Yeah, that in Barella. Yeah, but you're gonna argue having two of those guys. Yeah, but that's I, I wouldn't. Yeah, but a coach you're not gonna you're not gonna want that. You want you want that. that difference. You want a guy like Pellegrini in your midfield. You want a guy like Barella in your midfield. And for me, you want a guy like Locatelli in your midfield. That's going to be staying a little bit further back. And, dude, you saw that game on Sunday. The ball, the, those passes that Locatelli makes, man, that's what, that, that's what Italy was missing in the midfield. Yeah, no, I, again, He's like a, like a rejuvenated, better Jorginho. I, I don't think Jorginho's a lock as much as everybody thinks. I think no. he should be there for the experience so. and the yeah, he'll be Yeah, he'll be you there for the experience. You let him come in. Maybe he exactly. starts a game or two just to like whatever. But this and that's just it. goes back to the Insignia thing. No, Why not? Because one of them plays for stupid, Arsenal, though. who's you, a, title, a title contender. The other one plays for TFC. Anyways. Well, I, um, I, I, I tried out for TFC. And the name plays in a mid-table Italian team. I could play on Team Canada. Uh... Okay. No come back. I, with this comment, I'm just gonna put it like that, bro. <laughs> Where does you know Team who Canada... you are? Whoever's why you know exactly who you are. You know who you are. I know who you are. I covered you like I don't a know shadow, who you are, bro. but you know who you are. I covered you like a shadow. Anyways, we're not getting into that. <laughs> we get team bro, Canada we're, Eagles, we're not. We're not getting into there. I feel All right, about his prime, Joe. The last, sorry, the I'm last sorry. guy. BBG's prime. Sorry. The last sorry. guy I'm going with, obviously. Federico Chiesa. Okay, but use him correctly and fucking use him as a fucking winger. Yeah. Let him cut in. Let him cook. Let him destroy everybody's life. I love him. That's it. Yeah, that's where he has okay, to be playing. You know man. I'm going. I'm also taking back my Fratesi comment. Thank God. I'm taking oh that back. God. I'm going to say Locatelli. Good shit, man. Good shit, you, watched, you, you saw those passes on the weekend. Yeah. I've always also been a very big fan of Locatelli because of his versatility in the yeah. midfield. Um, Changing over now. 
I don't one more thing. There's one more one more lock. <laughs> Buffon has to be on the bench as the motivation. <laughs> He's there already, dude. No, I'm just saying. I like I want to no, see him you, on the screen. What you need on the bench, you need him and right on his two sides, you need Cannavado and Chiellini. And then Simone Zaza behind them. <laughs> no, no, no. Z- uh, Simone Zaza can go watch watch the game with, with the, uh, dude. What's his name? Uh, Matri. Z- Zaza, Zaza's <laughs> gonna watch the game with uh, North Zaza. Macedonia goalie, Zaza. the guy that wore the Buffon jersey to the game. Okay, see that goalie over there. You know what? I don't got no beef with him. I got I some do. respect for him. I, I, don't. I do because Macedonia beat us, so all of Macedonia have a beef with him. Yeah, regard. but hey, team dude, at least. He knock, stopped. Knock. The, he stopped the goals, and he looks up to Buffon, so he yeah. knew he knew it was good. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. that's true. That's he true. knows what's good. So. Uh, anyways, since we mentioned Buffon, I think like 40,000 times in the last seven minutes or maybe longer, I feel. But why I don't, don't you? You have to met. No, no, obviously. I'm not saying anything wrong. No, no, no. I, I just got very sexy. Breeze. 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 So I got offended. Take a sip of your water if you need to. I will. Um, have some Dolomia. So let's. What? Have some Dolomia. <laughs> what? We're not sponsored yet, but. We're not sponsored, but, but this, soon we will be. Bro, this over here. Dolomia, I know you're listening. This is what dreams are made out of. You understand? That comes from the Alps. Literally. Mm-hmm. It is manifested with good vibes, good auras, and, and kind of pure, sweat, and then purified with the. I would drink kind of auto sweat. I that's, swear to God, that's what that's what the water's made of. Can you imagine? Anyways, so <laughs> they Phil, did it in Space Jam with Michael Jordan. Why can't they do it? It was fake. It was literally fake. Okay, well, Not pretend, <laughs> pretend, prove it. Anyways, <laughs> Phil, <laughs> last last thing before we sign off, yeah. and whatever you go, and party send your ass back home. Yeah, um. Right. Okay. If Phil's gonna set up, you a have to. If Phil's gonna go set up now. Because <laughs> you're in a friendlies in a month. I'm actually gonna drive by just to uh, see, get yeah, the see, mantra going. See where, see where he's gonna sit <laughs> Bro, we're only we're only <laughs> three months away. Uh, like hey, you gotta, you gotta we're only a month away from you gotta, from you gotta, an, you gotta those engines, man. So only a month away for another friendly. No, there's one. There's a qualification soon. See? Soon, soon. soon. So, uh, okay. Anyways, but, Phil, yeah. combined eleven of your Euro 2021 winners. And your 2006 World Cup champions. Oh, Freedom. You... you do whatever formation, even if you don't know a formation. Just throw it, throw it together. No, do you what know you what? I'm going to go uncivilized because that's what the uh, 2006 team actually was. Uncivilized. Okay. I'm going to go uncivilized. I'm not even going to say a formation. You're yeah, that's name, I, here's I the name you... players. I'm just going to say who I want on the, uh, as my 11. Okay. okay. Period. Make sure you have 11. Uh, I'm yeah. going to I'm going to count. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. He names 15 guys. Yeah, I'm good say, now. He's going to say like even yeah. 15. We can play whenever we want. <laughs> okay? okay? Doesn't matter. Number 1 Buffon, okay. 100%. Okay? Yeah. Only from 06. We can't go further. Okay. I okay. No, you can't go further. Than no, that. no, I'm not. I'm not. Don't worry. Okay. I'm not cuz because then we're gonna get. We're, into we're only a trying. To, we're only trying yeah. to do the people that have actually won a cup. That was very subliminal on on Al's bab, but I love you. No, it's fine. <laughs> Buffon, one hundred percent. Okay. Okay. Zambrota. Materazzi. Okay. Cannavaro. Chiellini. I'm okay. keeping. I know there's others. Okay. But. I'm going to keep it like that. The midfield. Pirlo. Mm -hmm. Totti. Okay. I'm going to keep him like that. Going to keep him like that. I'm going to... Just because last time we we had words about it. If, bro, if I have 11 players, 100% I'm going to okay, play. Yeah, no, obviously. Okay, yeah, so yeah. far, you got in your mid, you got Pirlo, you got Totti. De Rossi. Okay. 100%. Now your attack. The biggest thing. <laughs> Del Piero, 100%. Obviously. obviously. I'm so curious here because now he has two spots and I don't know what he's going to do. I know. It's like he has Inzaghi, Luca Toni, Chiesa, Insigni. <laughs> His brain's firing on all cylinders. Don't be at 100%. Yeah. That, that guy, I'll, I'll fight all That's locked. That's with. locked in. All I need is Buffon and Del Piero with me and Baggio. Don't even start there. <laughs> I'll fight 100 people. I don't really care. <laughs> The last two people, I'm going to say, so Del Piero, and I have two more. K. 
Chiesa and Inzaghi. Chiesa and Inzaghi? So not Luca Toni? No. I, th- I love him. I love him. Dangerous. Love those celebration. I love that he's a tall, lanky fuck. I love that he's strong. <laughs> There's just something about... Bro, trust me. Don't worry about it. I, I know. So Del Piero, Inzaghi, and Chiesa. Okay. And Getting fed by Totti. And Pirlo. By Pirlo. Okay, and then A. Three subs. Three subs? It could be, this can be any position, anything you want. Three subs. Camerunese? Mm-hmm. Mm, hold on. Camerunese. I got to be very, like, strategic know, about this. You know what I mean? I know. Luca Toni. <laughs> okay. And now one more. Now one more. I'm so surprised this name hasn't been said. I'm not going to say it, though. Because I don't want to put anything into his yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You don't have to. You don't have to. I wasn't going to. <laughs> oh, no. Pirlo's playing already. I'm right there. Yeah, okay, yeah, I was sure. going to say. Um... So, I mean, you, a lot of the Euro Cup team that you have a name, if you know, if you're going to name anybody from there. No, no, I already said it. He's starting, actually. Um, fuck. One more spot to fill. It's got to be somebody. No, because I, I know it's tight. You know, it's just hard to name down the one last player, but. Come on, Phil. No, Canovato's playing already uh, obviously. On, this, on, the, on the team. It, you know what it is? There's a lot of pressure right now. Nah. Wait. <laughs> Sounds like Berardi. Can't handle the pressure. I'm like your buddy over there. Fucking Biggio. <laughs> Here we go. You know what? Um, All I know, like, while you, while you were thinking about this, I was just thinking in my head about your whole claim of you... Buffon, Del Piero, <laughs> and, fighting and, and fighting and Baggio, fighting a hundred people. It yeah. would be you, Buffon, and Del Piero fighting a hundred people because Baggio would miss all of his punches. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Four years later, he redeemed himself. That's that's, <laughs> and you know what? It, uh, okay, wait. Let me let me. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna throw a name out of the hat real quick. Go right there. Um, just in case, God forbid. I said Zambrota already, right? Yeah. Barzali. Okay. Yeah. I would have said like Grosso, Gattuso, Insigne. Now that you said Barala, Barala, Locatelli. The, no, you know what, bro? The the thing is because okay, the thing is in saying that, they they they. You got to do big things for me to mention you in that. Okay, Euro's huge. It's it's a yeah. very tough competition. The World it's, Cups, the World Cup. But it's more, it, I think it's harder to win the Euro than the World Cup. But that's for a, a different day. But, bro, you, you know what I mean? Like, you're in the shadows of it. You're about to become something either good or something shit. That's why I can't put you on my team at that point in time. That, that's, okay. I'll be honest. Okay. And let's be real. I'm a, I'm a, for me, when it comes to those six. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's, you know oh, what wait. I mean? Oh, Mancini or Leapy. Mancini or Lippi, hands <laughs> down. Da- ah. nah, stop. I know you're going to get nostalgic and say Lippi ruined Bajo's career because he called him no, a No, 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 no. First of all, first of all, it wasn't Lippi. It was fucking Saki, that idiot. We're not going to go there, please, because that's for another episode. Yeah, <laughs> it's for the next episode. And you know what? We're not, you know what? Let's just put it this way. They both won a trophy, Mancini and Lippi, because I don't want to get in. Then people are going to Yeah, but no, I'm saying you got to pick the coach for the team. Huh? You got to pick the coach for the team. I'm not saying who's better. Who's coach the coach for the, for the team? team? Coach for the team? Bajo. You keep it. You keep it. Okay. Keep it. Last thing True before though. we sign off, I have a question for you. Yeah. Okay. Italy's always been known for their defense. Yeah. They've always been known as like, that's an art for them, right? So let's talk about this. In no particular order, I want you to give me 
we'll say top five Italian defenders. Sorry, sorry, center backs actually. Top five center Let's backs. Let's do defenders. Defenders. Okay, Let's sure. Do defenders. Sure. Top five of all time. So world man, we're of all right time. Now. Yeah. No, no, no particular, particular order. Just order. drop them down for me. Yeah. You're segueing me into something. I, anyway, no particular order. No order. Just no name order. five guys that you think are top five. Do I have what I have to have seen them? Because I've seen clips of one individual that I want to say. You're you're calling this. I usually say no because it's like, man, like what you've seen clips. I can yeah. make a highlight. No, but bro, if not, okay. you know what? No, fuck it. Only people that you've been okay, around. Fine. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. Okay, fine. Seen. Can I give an honorable mention? Because maybe they're yeah, yeah. going to want to look him up. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Sure. Honorable mention, Gentile. Okay. Search him up. 1982 World Cup champion. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Okay. You figure the rest out. You guys figure it out. YouTube it. Don't worry. Um, in no particular order, mm-hmm. Maldini Cannavaro. Hundred percent, yeah, hundred percent. Fuck. Are we even talking about now too? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Current old Maldini, writer. Cannavaro, Chiellini, Bonucci. It's always the last one I get. To. Yeah. So he's like, the last, he's like, fuck, I don't know who to, how should I put this guy? I'm even surprised put, he threw Bonucci in should there. Should I put this guy? Nah, bro, but Bonucci, you know what? I like them. I like them. Okay. Give the guy a good partner and, I mean, he'll do good things. You know what, bro? Zambrotta deserves it, bro. I, yeah. You didn't mention one guy. Who? The one guy that, about that everybody says is one of the best <laughs> center backs Italy has ever Who? produced. Who? You want to say his name? You can say it. Mr. Franco Barez. Bro, okay, okay. I need two guys. He forgot actually. Who's the second guy? Because all I heard when when you guys said that name was. <laughs> who's the Go first on. two he said? I said Franco. Oh, no, the who's... first two, Maldini and Cannavaro. Yeah, Nesta. Nesta too. That's you're one hundred percent right. right. But is he? I, I would take Nesta over Bonucci. Yes, one hundred percent, hundred percent. That one just slipped your mind. Yeah, because no, you know what it was. I, <laughs> it's like I, 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 I telepathic this thing right here. I, I almost like <laughs> knew he was gonna say what, the, what the fuck he just said. Okay, so he was already pre- <laughs> he was already preparing his next response, knowing yeah. I was gonna say something to him. That but as he's the best Italian center back. Can I just say this now? Get this. Everybody has to get. Everybody has to get this whole fucking Barezi thing out of their head. Straight out, he was garbage. Okay, you can find him at Cataldi every summer. Forget it. <laughs> fuck off. Garbage. I met him. Not fuck off. I know. I met him too back in the Big day. Big deal, bro. I met Skilacci at Cataldi. <laughs> <laughs> Barezi. Okay. Also, not not to mention that he missed the penalty shot in the World Cup final. Nobody talks about that. Yeah. Same okay. with Bajo. Yeah, but but nobody nobody talks about that, right? There's one's a defender and one's a striker. <laughs> it, it it doesn't matter. It does Barezi does not deserve to be the one of the best defenders of all time. Okay. I mean, I think he gets that because that I mean, was it a year and a half that he got like 15 goals against him and Maldini? Yeah, bro. I got 16 goals in soccer <laughs> practice uh when I was playing U17. Yeah, but he did it for Milan in Serie A. <laughs> Only 15 goals against. Over like it was in like three years. Yeah, I think like, it was like a, two crazy. years. Ask that. Ask that. How many goals I let in one year? Okay, <laughs> when I was like phenomenal. So are, you was saying, like are, you, are you saying DB, I brought, DBG over DBG? Badezi. DBG over Badazi, hundred percent. Just saying, but uh, no chance. We got. We got to do. A, we got to schedule a one on one. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> We'll schedule a one on one and it would just have like Joe. I'll Bad just I'll go and I'll try to get through Berezi now and then I'll try to get through Phil now. See who stops me. Give me a ball right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, so we've had multiple challenges from DBG today. <laughs> he's challenging Berezi to a one on one. I can't even so turn on a computer and you expect him to see this, please. <laughs> I don't want to even divulge or dive into <laughs> why you hate Barazi so much. Because he, he's no good, bro. The one thing I am going to say before we sign off about this whole thing 
I, you talked about Badezi missing a penalty shot and Badro missing a penalty shot. The one thing I will say is there's a nickname for Badro missing the penalty shot where there isn't the nickname for Badezi. It's true. Badro is the man who died standing up or standing still. What is it? The man who died standing Thanks, still. Standing still. <laughs> On that you, note, you had a I think I think we I think we pissed Phil off. Hey, take it easy, man. Uh, See you later. I think. Uh, you feed, eh? No, no, no. You watch. <laughs> okay, well, there goes our guest of honor. Cheers again. Joe pissed him off too. We much. always get him going at the I think end. We, that we, he leaves. We got him a little bit too much with the bad Joe, but you know what? If we don't get him to leave, he just never leaves. <laughs> so we have to say something controversial. We kind of got to go. We got to go this kind of route to, you know, get him out of here. Yeah. But so. um, but I think honestly, I, on on that note, oh, oh, he's coming, he's coming back. I think he's gonna. Oh no, no, I'm not even no, no he just no, no, forgot no, his no. forgot his vape. Okay. Yeah. Thank thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think he wants anything to do with Joe right I, now. <laughs> I also think Tut is the best of times forward. So whatever. Yeah, but anyways, see, that's where anyways. we that's where Joe gets completely lost because he just, just completely blind and doesn't know anything about In the soccer. Wise words of because he actually thinks Del Pia- Totti was even the best player on fucking Roma. He was, but he anyways, wasn't. In the wise, Stuto was remember that. In the wise, an Argentinian was the best player playing yeah, beside no, an Italian sure. okay. on your team. In the wise words of the immortal Mahatma Gandhi, Totti will never beat Del Piero. Pack it up, pack it in. Let us, let us end. begin. No, let us end. No, but let us begin. No, but we're ending the podcast. Yeah, but today. we're beginning the statement segment now of Del Piero being better than Totti. Now yeah, we could do that next. Now you're gonna make me leave the fucking podcast too. Good. This, is what, this is what you do. This is what you do. My co-host. This is what you fucking do. Anyways, I'm gonna guys. end it off here because I'm tired of listening to Joe talk. Guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at UltrasXI. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel and subscribe to that. Uh, Follow D- DBG. And, and you wanna follow, you wanna come come back and just say bye to the and say follow, bye to the, uh, the audience. Okay, I hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Follow at the douchebag Guido too. You're coming. You're coming back. He's for a me. nice not, guy. Not this guy here. Don't worry about this guy. Yeah. Don't listen. To, listen to what he says, but don't listen to what he says. Go follow Mr. DBG over here at douchebag on, Guido. I, 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 for, something coming from you right now. I can't hear. Yeah. Yeah. Just maybe don't talk now. DBG. Yeah. Phil. Guys, thank, thank you thank for you, having me. Thank okay? you for uh, uh, coming for, here today and joining us on uh, this episode. Thank you for this. It was a privilege yeah. to have you here. Pleasure was all mine. No, 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 no. The it's pleasure all, was ours. ours. It's all. Don't drop the Don't worry about this. Tony, Tony, Tony yeah. special, special juice, man. Yeah. Don't drop it. Thank Remember you. that. All right, guys. We'll hear you next week. We'll see you next week. Ciao. See you later. Say bye, DVG. Yeah. Okay. See you later, bro. <laughs>